Hey everybody, thanks for clicking on the video. This is Nick from First Coast Math Clinic. In this video, we're gonna talk about how do we add integers. We're gonna go through these six examples. We're gonna review specifically what an integer is, and we're gonna come up with specific rules that we can use when we're adding integers. Now, this is an important topic because um, throughout pre-algebra, algebra, algebra two, through your, your entire math career, you're gonna be working with integers and operations with integers, adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers. So this is a, a really important thing to to understand so uh make sure as you're going through this video pause where you need rewind where you need make sure you're really paying attention to to the rules okay um and before we get into this as always make sure you like comment and subscribe and leave some comments for any topics you'd like to see videos made on all right let's get into it okay now before we go over specific rules for adding integers let's just review what an integer is so we've got our number line here. We're going to be using number lines uh, to, to go through and identify some of our specific rules. So I'm going to start with zero in the middle. We want our positive values to the right, negative values to the left. So we can just list our positive values, one, two, three, four, and five. And our negative values, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, and negative six. So probably noticing all of our values here are whole numbers positive and negative whole numbers so those are our integers those are the values we're going to be working with today okay we're not going to be working with decimals we're not going to be working with fractions we're just going to focus on whole numbers in, this, in these um, in these examples that we get into. All right, let's get into our first couple examples. Okay, so for numbers one and two, we notice we have two values that are the same sign. All right, so we've got a negative plus a negative and a negative plus a negative. So let's come up with our rules for when we add two negative values. Now, first thing I wanna do is let's look at this on a number line for number one, all right? So I'm gonna start at zero. I know I've got two negative values here, right? So our answer has to be in the negatives. So I'm going to go five units into the negatives. One, two, three, four, five. So minus five. It's going to take us to negative five. And then we're adding an additional negative four. So we're going to go four more units. So plus negative four. And where do we wind up here? Well, we wind up at negative nine. Okay. Now we can think about this another way. At negative five, do this in a different color. So we've got one, two, three, four, five negatives. Negative four, we've got one, two, three, four negatives. How many total negatives do we have here? We don't have any negatives that will cancel out, right? If we had a negative and a positive, the negatives and positives would cancel each other out. Well, we don't have a negative and a positive to cancel each other out. We just have nine negatives. So our answer here is gonna be negative nine. So let's think about, well, how could we get negative five, negative four, and get negative nine from that? Well, we could add the two values, add the five and the four to get the nine, and then it looks like that sign is staying the same, all right? Let's check that with number two and see if we get the same thing. See if we can use the same rule, right? So let's draw a number line. I'm gonna start at zero. We're going 12 units into the negative. So we're at negative 12 here. Then we're going six more units. And this point is going to be negative 18. And if we double check, we've got 12 negatives. And then six more negatives. All right, none of them cancel out. So we've got 18 total 
total negatives, right? So our rule specifically, if we looked at it using kind of our, our negative plus and minus signs and our number line, well, what rule can we use? Looks like we're adding our values, 5 plus 4, 12 plus 6, and then we're going to keep our sign. Okay, so if we have negative 5 plus negative 4, we're just going to add the 5 and the 4 and keep the negative sign. We're going to add 12 and 6, get 18, and keep the negative sign. All right, let's get into a couple examples where we're adding opposite signs. Okay, so here we've got negative 5 plus 2, 4 plus negative 6. So now we're adding opposite signs. So let's come up with a rule that we could use when we're adding opposite signs. So let's think um, for our negative 5 plus 2. If we look at this in terms of plus and minus signs, well, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 negatives. And how many positives do we have? We've got 1, 2. So our two positives, two negatives are going to cancel out. And we're left with three negatives. So our answer here is going to be negative 3. And if we look at this on a number line as well, all right, starting at 0, we're going 5 units into the negative, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we're going back 2 units since that 2 is positive. So we're going, let me do this in a different color, 1, 2. And where do we end up right here? We're at a negative 3, okay? So let's think about how can we get go from 5 and 2 to get that 3. Well, we could subtract the two values, 5 minus 2. And we want to take the sign of the number that's further from 0. So if we compare negative 5 and positive 2, we're comparing the absolute value. So our absolute value of negative 5 is 5. The absolute value of 2 is 2. The absolute value of negative 5 is bigger than the absolute value of 2. Let me that a little neater. So we want to take the sign of the number that's further from 0 or has a larger absolute value. When we say absolute value, we're basically just saying what number is further from zero. I just want to use the correct mathematical term that's absolute value. Okay, so let's do number four, right? So I've got four minus six, four plus negative six. So first thing we want to do is, well, let's get our number value. So we want to subtract the two values. So what's the difference between six and four? That is two. Now we have to figure out, well, what's our sign going to be? So we want to take the sign of the number with the larger absolute value. So we have the absolute value of 4 and the absolute value of negative 6. Our absolute value is always positive. Absolute value is just a number's distance from 0. 4 is 4 units from 0. Negative 6 is 6 units from 0. Well, negative 6 has a larger absolute value. So our sign... is going to be negative. So our answer is negative 2. All right, now if we want to, just a further explanation on that, right? So if I start at 0, I'm going 4 units into the positive. And I'm going back 6 units. So I'm going back, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so I want it at negative 2. 
And that's our answer, okay? All right, so let's use our rules for adding opposite signs and the same sign to do two more examples. Okay, so for number five, we've got negative 15 plus negative 12. So we've got the same sign. So we wanna add the two values, 15 plus 12, is 27 and we want to keep the sign so a negative and a negative is going to give us a negative 27 and that's it number six negative 18 plus 22 we've got opposite signs so we want the difference well what's the difference between 22 and 18 the difference is four okay now we have to figure out well what's the sign going to be which of these two numbers is further from zero negative 18 or 22 well 22 is further from zero than negative 18 and 22 was positive, so our answer 4 is going to stay positive. Again, that's our absolute value. Again, think of the absolute value negative 18, absolute value of 22. That's 18 and 22. Negative 18 is 18 units from 0. 22 is 22 units. So 22 is further from 0 as a greater absolute value. So our answer here is going to stay positive, okay? And so in this video, we reviewed how do we add. All right, so in this video, we went over how do we add integers. We went through these six examples. We came up with some specific rules for adding integers with the same sign and integers with opposite signs. So, um, so good job for going through all of these six examples um, and applying the rules to these, these six different examples, okay? Next video, we're going to get into how do we subtract integers, and we're going to apply these specific rules when we subtract integers because we're going to be using our subtraction rule. So make sure you've liked, subscribed, and leave comments for any topics you guys would like to see. And check out the link for the next video, which is on subtracting integers. This is Nick from First Coast Math Clinic.